All right, everyone, welcome back. Today we're doing thrifting things. That must be like a soccer jersey. So let's find some cool things at the thrift. Right off the bat, I like to always talk about vintage. This is kind of neat, and it's kind of just brought back stuff. Older Fruit of Loom shirt. But I was just thinking about thrift stores in the 90s, which is, this is what you would find there. Would they be packed with stuff just like this? Small local companies, local high schools, for example. This is a high school shirt. It's also vintage. But was this what the 90s thrift stores were like? What about the ones from the 80s? They had to be like this. But I know with printing, it's so much easier to get this stuff done nowadays that you might not have all these smaller companies and such with their own t-shirts or universities. Universities you might, but companies, for example, you might only get one shirt or one design for your entire role at the company. Tommy Jean, what is this? Look at thing. This looks very off if you ask me. Anyway, let's uh let's find some cool things at the thrift. I'm gonna hit up a couple of them and make it a fun day. Let's do it guys might remember last year I bought a shirt just like this in white I just can't bring myself to wear it it's a knockoff Supreme shirt is Supreme still is there still hype around Supreme or is that thing go or is that thing gone so random such a knockoff also it's not even like a good screen print if you know you know it's also like a weird cut also I don't it's like a knockoff of a knockoff. They just brought out all this stuff from Birdhouse. I don't see anything else up there that I really want. Those are one of those water bottles that you're supposed to drink the whole thing in one day. It's kind of neat. It's reproduction-y. I should just say it's cheaply made. Here's probably this candle for a dollar. Apple pumpkin. Need a candle, I'll leave it here for you. I'm not seeing anything else of interest at all. All right, at the next thrift store, found this really cool sweatshirt. I mean, somebody probably just sewed that on. It says art, it's very artistic. It's an older sweatshirt also. It's an older Hanes sweatshirt. Hanes Classics. I guess Hanes at one point had their Classics theme. I don't know why it'd be called Hanes Classics. It is sort of like a, oh it's even cooler. It's got something on the back. And with screen printing, the more colors you add onto it, this has to be screen printed. It's, it's, a, it's a thicker um, ink. The more colors you add onto it, the more expensive it gets. So that's a cool find for only $1.50. Another uh, hidden gem here, another camber sweatshirt. This is called, uh, it's like insulate, but I think it's called like waffle insulation. See how it's like a waffle? That's what it's called. So this is another good, man, these things are so heavy. It does have something on the back. This I wouldn't want something on the back. But it's cool nonetheless. I mean, it has some wear on it, but that gives it character. This is three dollars. I think it's five ninety nine, so it's half off. They're so heavy. They're heavier than the the reverse weaves. So if you're really into like actually quality clothes, this stuff is good quality. If you're into quality clothes, if you're not just one of those name brand people. Okay. So, this is kind of cool. One of these penguin pieces. I uh, actually just found one in the storage unit that we just did. Uh, been talking a lot about that recently. Just finally completed both the units last night. Made it happen. Um, shocked I did, but it uh, it's complete. 
storage units will be posted shortly. Uh, but there was one of those penguins in it. A little bit better condition. Ooh, what is that? Hold up. Nope, not what I thought it was. I thought it was one of those big wicker trays. It's a tabletop. Which pretty much everyone who probably just saw that clip just thought, that's a tabletop. And that's a table, but uh, these huge wicker trays, exactly like this, but they're painted on one side, so I thought this was the back side to it. Looks exactly the same. Very folk artish. And I went over to the golf clubs, I didn't see anything. The one thing with golf clubs, so people were saying, well, why don't you just buy the ones that are worth 10 or $15 if they're only a dollar each? Right now on eBay to ship a golf club, uh, at minimum is like $25. Doesn't matter if it's going right next door. They put a surcharge on anything over 36 inches. Uh, at least the postal post office did that probably about a year ago. So baseball bats that go in the 36 inch box, golf clubs, whatever it is, minimum is $25. Plus I think the, uh, whatever the shipping cost is. So if it's like $8, it's $8 plus 25. So it's outrageous to ship them. Really, I wouldn't even bother with anything. Probably under $50 when it comes to those golf clubs. So, I think I'm way... I don't know if I want to grab this. This jacket's really, really cool. I think I just have to grab it and then wear it maybe five times and just validate me owning a jacket for... Oh, is it ripped here? No, it's just really dirty. I don't know. No, that's bad. Maybe you probably can clean that up. That might just be from the floor. It's a shame this isn't, there's another Georgetown jacket that has kind of like a graffiti style back. Um, this is also missing the hood. So those two things kind of suck. <laughs> uh, but that jacket's like 100 to $150. Yeah, this thing has got way too many stains on it for me. If it had the hood, I'd you know, say maybe, but the amount of work that would have to go into cleaning this... I'll leave a grail for someone else. It is $12.50. If it was the other jacket, I would grab it with the stains, but this is a little bit less. I think in mint condition, you'd probably get 80 bucks for this. Uh, with the hood, 80 to 100. In this condition, probably like 30. So you double your money, but I'm just not into it. Um, so I'll pass. I'll leave that for someone else who might really love Georgetown. But it's cool to see a, a vintage pro player jacket here. It's really cool. It was a while ago, we're uh, at the, the flea market. Some lady, I guess she worked for someone who had a resale shop, uh, but she had probably 50 pro player and starter jackets and all like the good teams. And I think she wanted like 15 bucks each. I think I only bought two. This is probably about 10 years ago. Looking back, I probably should have just bought them all. They haven't they haven't dropped in price, let me put it that way. Uh what? I never know how to pronounce this brand, but what? I have to buy that. I've never seen Mets gear in Zubaz, Zubai. Does this have pockets? That'd be really nice. It does not. I think I have to buy it anyway. That's crazy. Things you see at the thrift. Alright, you want to hear a random story from Taco Sacks? This is the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, which I don't know if that's their same name. Uh, minor League Baseball is always changing their, uh, their teams. But I used to play Little League Baseball with a guy who I think played for them last year or two years ago. He never made it to the majors. He's, I think he's injured right now. Uh, but my first job was ever working at his father's bar. I think he's still a part of the Marlins organization. You can probably meet him. But I know his dad still owns the bar in New York City. It's a very nice bar. It's probably my favorite job of all time. But really cool to see like just minor league baseball and especially Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, the most random thing to find in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. As you can see, I'm holding a camera in a thrift store and my friend is playing pretty much Major League Baseball. 
the tales of two different worlds. Over here in the brick brack section, whole collection of ducks. I thought this was kind of neat. But it went great with that past auction that kind of have a little bit of buyer's regret not buying more, but you know, prices were kind of expensive. There's some nice stuff there though. Almost everything there would have sold at Lambertville. Very cool with that. Let's see a little sewing machine, it's a musical box. Letters in, letters out. Hey, must get a lot of mail. Uh, that's about it. You got more candles as well. Six dollars for that one. Looks like a reproduction. Might be, might not be. It's cracked as well. Not really seeing a whole lot over here. That was here last time. <laughs> a safe, a money bank safe that you can see your money. Imagine having to wear these things. It'll probably hurt your feet. Not seeing a whole lot over here. What's HD? What is this? HGH. Don't know. Not seeing a whole lot in this section. Always good for some glassware. That's a piece. There's some way there. I am not sure. whole linen section over here is just wiped out. Also sporting goods, there's not much here. Last thrift store today. This guy looks awesome. Only four dollars. I don't think salsa would like it. And then salsa might think it's a toy. It's pretty cool. Four bucks, that's a good deal. This is the uh, thrift store in uh, the Poconos. It's fairly small. They also don't run the same deals. Uh, so most Salvation Armies on Wednesday would run a 50% off everything in the store, but the, you know, the color of the tag that they're putting out uh, for clothes and handbags. So this week would be blue. That's the color that they're putting out this week. Um, everything would be 50% off but blue for clothes and handbags and I think accessories. But some of these smaller Salvation Armies don't do those same sales. So this is one of those stores that doesn't do that sale. Did manage to find this one sweatshirt, or sweater I should say. It is amazing. I don't even know who makes it. It's very well made, so I'm gonna say it's probably like Gap or St. John's Bay. It's awesome, double-sided. It's brand new. Very cool sweater. I know it's not sweater season, but it's supposed to be sweater season. All right, everyone. So that's going to wrap it up here for today's thrifting video been a blast it's getting cold i know it's about to get really cold here in like one or two more days so that should be uh that should be a fun one hopefully no my pipes freeze in my house i have no plumbing issues i know last time we had all sorts of fun adventures um it's always good for a little bit of house maintenance i'm not going to show this side of the house looks so bad but uh thrifting was fun 
Uh, found some cool things, found some neat things. Salsa's now... But other than that, it's been a fun one. Thanks for coming along. It's uh, It's been fun. Thrifting's always fun. I've been wanting to go back to the Goodwill bins. Uh, a lot of people seem to like that video. So uh, probably the next time I go thrifting will be the Goodwill bins. Maybe we'll do that next week. Uh, I know I'm kind of bombarded with things right now. But it's been fun. Uh, thanks for coming along. And catch you guys next time. Next venture. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.